Health headlines now. Music therapists might soon be recognized as medically licensed professionals. This type of therapy gained national attention after being an integral part of Congresswoman Gabrielle Gifford's recovery. Elizabeth Pran has more. Hey, I'm above ground. It's good. Jim Vaughn is fighting an autoimmune disease at Mission Hospital in Asheville, North Carolina. He gets an IV treatment every two weeks, a dreaded process. Until the hospital introduced music therapy. Makes me more receptive to being here. I'm not as concerned with how, many, how fast it's dripping and what the pump is doing. There's been many studies that have shown that it does reduce anxiety, that it does alleviate pain. And what it does, it just enhances what the physicians are already doing. The hospital hired Michelle Bond, a full-time musical therapist who plays requested songs for patients who are undergoing treatment. She serves as a pleasant distraction and a counselor. You could see the, the physical reaction um, of somebody just you know, not focusing on their, their, their disease and their illness, it's thinking about music. There are about 150 music therapists in North Carolina, treating many patients from pediatric cancer to Alzheimer's, even hospice patients. You be my voice. The practice of using music to soothe patients is growing. The state is looking at legislation to license the profession, joining North Dakota and Nevada. More than two dozen states are also considering similar laws. It's a recognition of the validity of music as a therapy. Because at a time when so many are going through so much, a little added therapy isn't just music to the ears. It's treatment for the body. These symptoms such as pain are felt at many domains such as psychological, spiritual, emotional. Um, and if we, if we neglect those areas, then we're not serving the patient. In Asheville, North Carolina, Elizabeth Pran, Fox News.